Hi everyone and welcome to my second tutorial. I want to say thanks to everyone uh, who watched, commented, liked uh, and gave feedback on the video. I was very happy about the, the positive feedback. The, the first one wasn't that hard to recreate. It was a rather simple tutorial for just world creator. In my second tutorial, I want to go a bit further and we try to recreate the image you're seeing right now on my screen. Um, and that the video won't take too long. I will split it up in two parts. In the first part, we're going to cover all the world creator stuff like sculpting and texturing, setting up all the splat maps for the textures. And in the second part, we're going to go into Blender, setting up all the materials with the, with the height map and splat maps I got from World Creator, doing the scatter work and the atmospheric and sky stuff. Yeah. So let's start with the, with the first part, with the World Creator part. Uh, let's go into World Creator. Starting this project the same way I did in my first tutorial. I increased the resolution to 2K, so I have more space to work. And then I'm going straight into sculpting. As a reference, I use the image I showed you on the beginning. Um, trying to recreate the shapes. They don't have to be perfect. You always can come back to sculpting and correct some stuff. Then I will set up my camera, how I want it in Blender, saving it and setting up my, my light. And now I start with the, with the filters. For the first one, I use Rocky White. That gives me kind of cliffs that already looks pretty good. And then I, I play around with my settings, just testing them, going up and down all the way, just to see what the, what the kind of specific thing does. I'm going back to my camera, checking if it looks okay. Then with the second filter, uh, white flows. Got going with the with the soft method and reducing it to almost zero. That gives me some smooth transitions. And for the foreground here, I'm gonna paint again over my canvas just that I have something in the foreground that it doesn't look too flat. Once again, correcting my camera and always saving it. Don't forget that. Now I'm going to add some clips that will increase the clips I already had from Rocky White. Here again, I'm testing out some settings, just going up and down, seeing what it does. That looks okay for me. I use switch flows. That gives me the kind of transition from the from the normal ground to the to the mountain kind of dirt layer and i used the flatten filter i almost every time use the flatten filter um invert or normal and here i just used it on the upper part of the mountain to increase the cliffs But that's a bit too high, so we're gonna reduce it. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Now what I, what I often do is add angle to my cliffs so they won't appear on every side of the of the mountain. But in this case, it gave me a, a sharp shape on the top, and that's not really what I wanted. I want like a flat plateau on on top. So I didn't use it. Instead, I took the Rocky Plateau filter that does what it says, create some plateaus and I increased the strength and played around with samples and length just to see what it does to, to my mountain. Then I used another Rocky White that will give me some more details and some variations on my mountain and for the last step I used simulation layers 
but that's kind of harsh so I reduced it to the value of 5 and that looks pretty nice in my opinion correcting the camera and uh, the lightning just to see what it will look like and after that I started with the materials basic grass material ground layer after that I did my rock layer with roughness as always and just decreasing the strength of the rock to almost zero and if you if you can't see your materials right then just change the angle from the sun that makes it better visible for just to look at it and the third layer will be the flows flows is kind of dirt dirtish color and the second grass layer with a different green color and here I use cavity just to give me some variations in my grass checking what it looks like when I increase the precision that looks really really close to what I wanted to get tweaking some settings that isn't really necessary and for the export I use height map and splat map and changing some settings to the format and the single channel and then with one fourth of a meter I'm exporting all my files and that will give me a height map and split maps which we'll use in the second part of the tutorial as of right now I'm on the second part I'm just finishing the, the blend project to see if it looks okay that's what it looks like right now so stay tuned for the second part of the tutorial I guess I will finish it within the next week should be ready on the weekend I hope so yeah I would like to see what you guys can do in world creator uh, make sure to send the files in the discord server from world creator I would love to see your your projects